Chris Christie does join us now from Keene, New Hampshire uh, this morning. So are you saying Marco Rubio is Barack Obama? What I'm saying, George, is he's a first term United States senator and he has had no experience at all of ever managing anything and that we've tried that once before. And Republicans have watched over the last seven years as the president has made this government more and more dysfunctional. We need to make sure that we nominate someone who not only can beat Hillary Clinton, but also can manage the government and get it back on the right track once they're elected president of the United States. No need to take those chances, George, on someone who's never managed anything larger than a 30-person Senate staff. Marco Rubio says you're lashing out because you're losing, and that new poll out this morning does show him moving up into second place. You're stuck at 5% down in sixth place right now. Uh, George, you know, Marco could say whatever he wants about that, but this is his experience or lack thereof. I mean, he just doesn't have any experience, George. Um, all he has is experience of being a legislator. We've tried that as a, as a party and as a country, and it doesn't work. Hey, you, you've been hitting him pretty consistently for the last several days. Is, is that pretty much a concess concession that if you don't beat him on Tuesday, it's the end of the line for you? No, it's not a concession to that at all, George. But what it is is trying to raise a really important issue for New Hampshire voters as we get to go to the polls. Um, the fact is that we need to make sure that we have a candidate who actually knows what they're doing. We need to have a candidate who's willing to take questions from the press um, in an unguarded way. We need to have a candidate who does more than just 45-minute drive-by town hall meetings. I mean, Marco Rubio has been the most protected, coddled candidate um, in this entire race. And so what I've said before is let the boy come out of the bubble. Let's see what he can take when he can take the heat. Because, as you know, the heat that he'll get from Hillary Clinton if he was ever the nominee will be much greater than anything any of us can throw at him. We also have this controversy bringing up about the Iowa caucuses. Donald Trump and Ben Carson lashing out at Ted Cruz, suggesting that he stole the Iowa caucuses. Merit to that argument? I don't think so. You know, I don't think any time in politics when you lose and you ask for a do-over, um, that that's something that gives people a lot of confidence in your leadership ability. You know, uh, the, the results are the results. You move on and you go to the next contest and try to win the next contest. Stop focusing on the rearview mirror and looking through, look through the windshield. You have been focusing so hard on New Hampshire, done town hall meeting after town hall meeting, making the case now for several months, but you do appear to be stuck right now. How can you change that? Just keep working, George. That's how you do it. You keep working, do well in the debate on Saturday night. I will tell you this, you look at the polls that were going into, into uh, Iowa, um, the, the polls, the last one, the Des Moines Register, was wrong on Donald Trump and Ted Cruz by nine points. It was wrong by Marco Rubio on eight points. This has been a notoriously difficult thing to uh, race to poll. And I know you guys are just obsessed with polls. You want them every day. You want to be able to question everything on polls. Uh, but the fact is, you all were saying Donald Trump was a winner. Um, over the weekend, that he was definitely going to win the Iowa caucuses. Um, and then it turns out that he loses. Um, so I I'm just not going to get into that game with you, George. It's like, you know, when people vote, we'll know what happens, and then we'll make decisions based off that. But um, if, we, if we made decisions uh, based off the polls that you guys were counting on on Sunday, uh, we would have uh, given Donald Trump the win, uh, and this thing would be in a much different direction now. And we'll see you Saturday night. Thanks, Governor. Looking forward to it, George. Thank you.